Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move some files out of your Apple products over to your desktop so you can share them with other Apple products or Android products or just have them as a memory. We're talking about music that wasn't bought through iTunes. I'm going to show you how to back up your call log, how to print out text messages, and a lot more. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. Okay guys, before we begin, I just want to show you a couple of things about this software I'm going to use today and why I'm using it. Uh, first thing that people have been asking me, how did I move my old files? How did I save my text messages? How did I get my old call logs? How did I get my notes? And these are a lot of common questions for people that own Apple products. So this uh, company right here actually made some third party software. Now here at the bottom, I just want to let you know that they're not affiliation with Apple and I'm not getting paid to endorse this. This is just some uh, uh, cool little app that I found and I thought I'd share it. So also when you go over to store here, the program you're using today is $40. So if it's very important for you to reclaim some of those files or move them out of your phone, then you have to decide if that's worth it for you. So let's go ahead and get started with why I'm using this guy. Well, first, uh, if you actually have music on your Apple uh, product, that's not purchased from iTunes, generally, once you reset your phone, you're gonna lose that information. So this will actually allow you to download all your music onto your computer and then put it back. Some other things you can do is you can get text messages and explore those out as different files. So let's go over these tabs here. For music transfers, you can see right here, you can um, download them right there. You got the little pluses, and then you can download right to your desktop, which I'm gonna show you in a minute how to do it. The second thing you can do is message and contacts. So if you had you know, someone that's bothering you or you just wanna save some memories, you'll be able to get that way here. And you can save it as a PDF CSV file. And also you can do your voicemails. So as they download into your phone, you can download into a file for your computer. You can also get your contact list and copy your voice memos, which is very, uh, very good. Now let's go over here to disk mode. So unlike uh, Android, iPhone don't allow you to see the structure of it, but this disk mode will actually allow you to see your phone just like a uh, Android. So you're gonna be able to see all your little folders inside there, drag and drop what you like right into the software. You can also uh, see your iTunes backups, access your iPhotos, and you're gonna have a file management system, again, just like they use on Android. Now over here is your notes and calls. So you can carry a note out of the iTunes ecosystem over to uh, a format that you can export and, and read later. And you can also download, you see your call history right there. Bookmarks included, and you can export your calendar events, which most of those are on clouds. And they have different versions. At the time I made this, the newest version is 4.0.11. And you can see all the different uh, releases right there. If you're ready to go, just download the software, go ahead and purchase it, and then uh, we'll be ready to get this started. So once you have everything installed, you're gonna get this little pop-up, connect the device. So let me go over to an iPad I'm using in this video today and plug it in. Okay, now you got everything installed and you plugged everything in, this is what we do next. This is what the main screen looks like. However, before you get started, you wanna click on backup and you're gonna have like an empty screen here. You're gonna let it go ahead and uh, finish up backing up all your files. It could take up to 10, 20 minutes. Now we have everything in here. I wanted to first give a disclaimer. Since I'm using an iPad, not all these features work on it even though the icons are there. Uh, voicemail, there's no voicemail on this device because there's no telephone. They don't have any call history, but with your phone, it will work fine. So let me show you how to use this program to move some of your files. I'm gonna show you how to do music, pictures and some basic things today. But if you buy the program, you can do all of these features on the iPhone if you if you wanna do that. So first thing, I'm gonna show you how to move music from this uh, iPad over to your desktop so you can share it on any device you like. Now keep in mind, I'm not saying that you can move iTunes music, but if you can, you can, if you can't, you can't. I'm not trying to show you that today. When we clicked on the music, you can see we got this pop-up. You need to go and share your iTunes library. So let me show you how to do that. This is how you share your iTunes library. Just go over here to uh, 
iTunes, click on preference, and then you'll click on advance, and then click on share iTunes library XML. That's it. Hit OK to confirm it. So after you do that, you want to go ahead and close out your iExplorer and open it back up. Now let me click on all again and then click on music. If you notice you didn't get that pop-up this time, it's cause now everything's set up and ready to go. So as you can see on the desktop here, I have a little folder I made called backup files. And this right here, if you notice it's empty right now, but I did a couple of samples before I started filming this video. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move these four songs over here. And I don't have a lot of music in my iPad because I use Spotify for all of my music. I'll make another video about that later and tell you why. So if you highlight all these guys by pressing the top one, and then press and hold shift and then hit the bottom, it highlights all the, the music here. At the bottom here, you can see transfer from your device pretty much. Click on that and we're gonna select the folder. When we select that folder, let's click on desktop and choose that backup file. It's the same file that's here on the desktop. Hit choose and let's see what happens. See, it moved all your files over. And now that your files are moved over, you can do anything you want with these. You can move them over to a backup source, drag them to another device, put it in iTunes, because this right here is your files. So the next thing we do is let's go back over to the iPad. Now let's click on photos and videos. Now I have personal things in here, so I'll hide most of it, but here we go. Now that you can see your photos, you can see it right there. Let's go ahead and hit the arrow down. Now there's gonna be a bunch of different uh, folders and stuff like that. Now. I will tell you camera roll is the only thing you can really access and the reason is all these other things can be on your iCloud and they're not locally in your uh, iPad to save storage. So camera roll is the only thing you're going to have access to in most, most cases. So to move the files out of your camera roll over to your desktop, you just click on it one time and down at the bottom you have export. Click on that and then you can also then select albums to move the folders. Click on that, and then you want to do is choose your backup folder again and hit choose. And if you notice, camera roll from Steven's iPad popped up on uh, the desktop. I'll show you real quick what's moving over there. So those are your files, and once it gets done, all your photos will be ac accessible from this backup folder. Again, you can put it into any type of device you want, as long as it accepts those type of files. Now, if you have voice memos that you're trying to save, normally from an iPhone, you can actually share those by hitting the little share button. Now, let's talk about messages. You can back up all your messages, including your iMessages and text messages that you received on your device. Uh, you can export them over to this folder that I'm showing you as a CVS file, a text file, or a PDF. And it actually makes a separate one for each conversation. Now, I'm going to blur this out and change the screen a little bit again to hide my privacy and show you how it works. Now, as you can see, there's a whole list of messages here, but the only one I'm really showing right now is the WhatsApp. It was just a uh, confirmation code that I got. And at the top here, you can see export uh, conversation. You click on that and you can see you can send this plain text. Let's click that. And where to go? Let's click on uh, the backup file again save and there it is plain text we can export it as a csv file where to go backup file save now it's a csv file and then the last one is pdf click on that it says backup file save and there's a pdf right there and if you double click on that you can see you have full access uh, to your conversation now I will tell you contacts is mainly on your cloud on most devices, so no problem there. Your notes you can share as well. Your calendars are usually on the cloud. Uh, but here's some other things you can do. You have document folders, so if you've been saving uh, documents on your iPad or iPhone or iTouch, they'll list right here. Media folder, this shows you all the different medias from your photos, your podcasts, your purchases, recordings, anything that has to do with video or audio. This photo right here shows you all the apps that are installed on it and what date they was actually modified or anything. Now, you cannot remove these from your iPad because this is a read-only source in this case, but uh, 
keep in mind that just show you where where everything is backups and then iCloud basically just shows you like the structure of your iCloud now it doesn't show you like pretty much everything but it'll show you like uh, again the same things before and it'll show you which apps are actually backing up to the iCloud so for example if you uh, download Sky Burger and then you install it and it backs up data on iCloud it'll show on all your devices now this is where you can mount your device I do not recommend messing with any of that stuff you can download another app called iExplore Mobile so you can use the same program on your device instead of using a computer root access if you look at the very bottom of the screen it has this is only available on jailbroken iPhones which I don't recommend as, as well and then these are bookmarks from your web browser and that's pretty much it but again the whole purpose of this video is that you want to build you move your music save your messages grab some photos or videos that you can access and uh, there you go so I hope this video helps you out in a lot of different ways of moving those files like again for forty dollars if you really need those files it's worth the investment so like all my videos please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one peace